Pirates, I'm Sabrina Bright, and today on Terrorbreak Games, I'm going crazy! I've literally been doing this Copper Key event for like the last literal day. Like, I sat at the computer for 20 hours yesterday trying to get this thing. It's so difficult to get. They're about to change the chances of getting the, the lock key spawn, I believe. I'm gonna tell you guys all of the steps that you need to do to get this Copper Key. By the time you see this video, they would have probably already updated and made it a little easier to get, thankfully. And hopefully the next video I upload will be me getting the key as well. But I'm not gonna be able to get the Silver Crown, sadly because I literally worked at this over a whole day. I'm like dying right now. I literally slept during the day, just woke up after like staying awake for 20 hours on the computer. So I really wanted to get a whole video of me showing every process, but it's just, it was too hard. So I'm just gonna tell you guys how to do it in this video and then hopefully in the next video I'll show you. So if you guys are excited, go ahead and smash that like button with your head. <laughs> So basically, I thought that I was gonna be able to do this in time before they updated to make it easier. And so here's some footage of me starting and showing you guys how to start. So the first thing you need to do is go to that orange house and start the cutscene. Guys, look at this car show. <laughs> I've never seen anything like this. Oh man. I think everyone's here to do the same thing. If you didn't know this, when it rains or confettis right now because of the 1 billion, there's confetti, uh, 1 billion visits. When it rains, the time pauses in jailbreak. All right, guys, it's time. Here we go. I'm trying. Oh, it didn't work because it didn't work. There's too many cars. There's too many cars. No, back up, back up. All right, here I go. Here I go. There's the cutscene, guys, so make sure you press Q for your rocket fuel. I've been watching you all for some time now, all you Robloxians. After you do the cutscene, you need to get three token pieces by robbing the jewelry store, the bank, and the train, all after 8 p.m. jailbreak time. So you'll see the time on the top middle of the screen. Uh, it's 4.30 p.m. in my game right now. I already have one token. I robbed the bank at night. Um, I just need the jewelry store and train. Once you get the three tokens, you have to go to a waterfall, and I actually will show you right now where that waterfall is. So once you have the three tokens, find the waterfall that has uh, the windmills. So there's the windmills off in the distance over there. Of course, there's water between us. I'm trying to get there as fast as I can. I'm gonna leave my car here safe. So this is the waterfall you need to go to once you have all three token pieces. All right, so once you're here, you're gonna wanna go and swim up the waterfall, and there's gonna be a hole right there. So here we are, we're in the hole. So once you're here, there'll be three cops around a campfire. You'll have to put a riddle in the first two codes. Like we'll show you all this in the next video. Probably look up the codes yourself though. Everybody knows the codes. So I'm sure you can find it easily online. For the riddles, it's all numbers. Every answer is numbers. And then after you've answered all the riddles, they'll give you a key. So then that's the hard part. This is where we left off. We had a key last night for like 15 hours. We were trying to rob the train over and over and over again, because that's what you need to do until a lockbox spawns where the gold is usually. When you rob the vault in the train, there's usually gold, but there's gonna be a lockbox that randomly spawns and the spawn percentage chance was so low that we literally never came across it last night and we had to give up. Actually, we were kicked out of our server eventually. After you use the key in the lockbox, you'll get a game cartridge from, someone will give you a game cartridge or you'll get it out of the lockbox. You'll have to bring it back to the cops in the waterfall and and then you'll play some mini game. It's called Jail Evaders, and apparently you have to, like, I don't know if this is true, but people are saying you have to get at least a thousand points on it, and whatever your score is on that game, that's gonna be the number answered in the next riddle, so you're gonna need to remember your score that you got on that mini game, and you cannot die, because if you die, I think you have to start the whole event over again. I'm not sure about that either. Like I said, I haven't gotten to that part yet. So, after you know your high score, you just put it into the riddle again, and I think that's that's where you get the copper key. So that's how you get the copper key. Then I guess soon they're gonna be given a riddle uh, for the jade key. So hopefully I can get this copper key and upload a video of me getting it. I'm probably gonna cry when I get it. Literally cried last night over this event. I, I can't believe how, how much time I put into it. This is ridiculous. But I hope I helped you guys out. I hope this is easy to understand and I hope to upload a video, a full tutorial of me actually showing everything. So if you wanna see that video, make sure you do subscribe and turn those notifications on. Don't forget to hit that like button, especially for 
all the time I'm putting into this. And guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you are new, make sure you do click that circle over there with our channel icon on it and turn that bell button on so you get a notification when we upload. So we're gonna go ahead and put the video of us showing you guys how to actually start the event right over here. And then when we have a full tutorial showing everything, it'll be over here. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. Have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching. Bye.